3, 2, 1. Hello there guys, thanks a lot for stopping by and welcome to the channel. If you are looking for a very good bike phone holder that suits all your needs, you came in the right place. Because today I'm going to review this amazing product that the company Andobil sent me. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end as I'm going to explain to you step by step on how to use this product. Right off the bat I have to say that I uh, appreciate the packaging. It's very stylish, nice and neat and I like their attention to detail. So inside the box you are going to find a card for support or for calls in case you have any problems. A welcome guide. But now let's go to the initial product which is right here. Nicely packed. This is the phone holder which already makes a very very good impression in my hand. It's lightweight yet very robust, very firm and steady. It's not making any cracking noises and I am going to go into the product specifications just in a bit. And we have as well this adapter slash clamp. So these two pieces are resembling your phone holder. You have here a screw that you can easily open the clamp with and you can fit it to any handlebars with a diameter between 0.6 inches and 1.75 inches. So there is enough room for you to play and it fits, I think, any bicycle, even motorbikes. A great aspect about this clamp is that it has silicon padding on both sides which really helps you preventing scratches on your handlebar. And now the phone holder itself. Let's talk about the features because it has a couple of them. The most obvious one to me are first of all this nice bright colors of the corrugated silicon cushions. I think that's really good because it offers extra protection to your phone. We got as well silicon padding here in front. And a very cool feature about this Andobil bike phone holder is that you can use it with one single hand. Let me show you how. Once your phone holder is attached to the handlebars, you just need to take your phone, press firmly downwards, the clamps are opening here, and you can just release it and your phone is now steady and secure. And it won't fall anywhere, I promise you, no matter which bumps you are going to hit with your bike. But in case you want extra security, you got here in the back of the phone holder, two positions. One shows an open lock, which is right now, that means you can still open. And you got as well a position with a closed lock and you can just switch it to that direction. And now you won't be able whatsoever to open the clamps. You do not have to worry if your phone is going to fit inside because it has a pretty wide compatibility range between 4.7 and 6.8 inches, anything fits inside. Moving on, you got here in the back of the case as well a fixed nut with two positions to open or lock. So we are going to open and what you see as next is actually like a hole in which something is supposed to fit in. And this is what the hole is made for. You have this connecting ball here and the way you just secure them together is very easy. You push the ball through this nut, you take your phone holder, make sure that the adjusting screw is showing upwards and now you are just pressing firmly the two pieces together until you hear this clicking noise and you can now tighten the nut to the secure firm position until you feel that there is everything locked into place and firmly secured. And last thing before you are hitting the road and test the product outside, this phone holder also features a charging slot here at the bottom of it so you can conveniently charge up your phone while you are riding. This is going to come in handy and it's going to be very helpful, making your life much, much easier. Okay guys, so now that I have walked you through all the specifications of the product and on how to use it step by step, it's time to hit the road. Let's go outside. Well guys, I'm now outside. Beautiful weather, sunny, but pretty cold. Anyway, I am now stopped for a 20 kilometers bike ride in which I will have plenty of time to put this phone holder to the test. It's right here, it's already pre-assembled. My phone is going to come inside as well. And here's my bike. So let me first show you now how to attach the phone holder to your handlebars. Of course, you can choose to attach the phone holder to one of the sides of your handlebar. But for today, I'm going to go with the middle of it because I just like the central position and it gives me a better view on top of my phone. At first you just need to open up with the screw the way I showed you before in the video. Make sure that you choose the right size for your handlebar. As next you just go on top of your handlebar and tighten up this screw. Just make sure that it's properly tightened and uh, you use the product correctly. Now it's fairly tight and firm. We are now pressing the phone inside the holder. Just with one hand, one finger, 
release it but before you go don't forget to switch from the unlocked position to the locked one and now your phone is tightly secured in your phone holder let's ride one thing i really love about this product as well is the fact that you can twist it to 360 degrees which not every phone holder has and this comes a lot in handy especially now for me because i wanted to secure my phone holder in the middle of my handlebar so uh, without being able to twist it to 360 degrees i don't think that would have been possible just like that i'm bringing the bicycle on this road because i know how bumpy it is and this serves me as a very good test of how good the product is and now i'm going to do something that i actually really hate doing with my bicycle which is riding over the curbstone make sure no cars are coming so there we go oh. Oh. but i don't see any movement everything seems to be very stable just the way it was in the beginning and to be honest i am really impressed i have absolutely nothing negative to say about this product 10 minutes later into the ride now it's time to hit some more curves and bumps oh, oh shit didn't even budge absolutely perfect Whew. it's really really cold outside even though the sun is shining i'm having a short break right now i am 5k's in and i got an idea while i was sitting on this bench how about i am lifting up the bike and dropping it from let's say a couple of centimeters and simulate a really hard bump I think I am around, I would say, 30 centimeters over the ground and now I'm just going to drop it. Pay attention to the phone holder. Pay attention to the phone holder. Nothing happened. You know what, actually it was really nice. It felt good, the tires are pretty well pumped, so let me do it once again for a bit higher. Yeah, that should do it, right? Three, two, one. <laughs> the camera moved. Three, two, one. <laughs> the camera moved. Phone holder didn't even twitch. I am really impressed. Let's continue the journey. almost 10 kilometers in now and uh, I remember one thing I forgot to mention that my bike has absolutely no suspensions and I feel the hits much harder than I would feel if I would ride a bike with suspensions that also shows how stable this uh, product is okay I'm on the way back home now it got a bit warmer this reminds me of my 3800 kilometers ride through Europe last year in the summer of 2022 and I can remember that I was using a different phone holder and it didn't have this nice feature to use it with one single hand and this one does which helps me a lot because I would have really loved to be able to take pictures during my ride and not having to stop on the side of the road take my phone out of the phone holder and then take the pictures so I'm going to show it to you right now you can just take your phone out of the holder with one hand you just need to press firmly to one side of the holder where the clams are opening you take your phone out and you can keep on filming or taking pictures with absolutely no problems and when you want to put your phone back in you just simply slide it back in and you lock it in the back with the switch and that's all that you have to do I am now 15 kilometers in I just have another five kilometers to reach my starting point basically I have not had at all any single problem with this uh, phone holder it's robust it's safe it's stable 
and it's a great innovation so i am genuinely convinced that this product is going to bring you a lot of joy on your cycling trips all the links to andobil and the link to purchasing this product are going to be found in my description below so make sure to check them out if you want to have a bike phone holder of a great quality I am back. After two hours of riding and taking countless bumps, potholes and curb stones, I also rode a bit through the forest. I definitely have now a final opinion. I have a different bike phone holder as well, but if I want to use that one for my motorbike, I have to make a couple of adjustments. And with this one from Andobil, you do not have to do that. And that's for me a huge thing. This connection point has not moved at all during the ride. It's just when you grab your phone and you start twisting, and turning and spinning that this thing is going to move other than that everything is really stable it works as a unity together with the bicycle and not against the bicycle it's not moving around not creeping up the handlebars the silicon padding on all four corners of the clamps are also absorbing very well the shock that's also very good for your phone and is making absolutely no rattling sounds another plus point is that it's very affordable so the purchasing link to this phone holder is like i said before in the description below so make sure to check it out at this point all that is left for me to do is to head back home before the rain starts falling and say a huge thank you to the Andobil team for sending me this amazing product and letting me reviewing it. And this was my honest opinion. So thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.